32 to 33 years, the Earth's orbit crosses the path of comet Temple-Tuttle. The meteors in its wake are so concentrated they cause a meteor storm, with thousands of meteors hitting the Earth's atmosphere. And right in the middle of it all are hundreds of crucial satellites. You're just going to have damage. You're going to damage solar arrays. You're going to damage antennas. If it hits in the wrong place, you're going to, to knock out the satellite altogether. In 1966, during the last major storm, there were only about 100 satellites in orbit. Now there are more than 500. This means everything from using your pager to getting gas at the pump could be disrupted. Everyone would be affected by the loss of any one of these satellites, so we're trying to do the best we can to make sure that doesn't happen. NASA says the odds that its satellites will be damaged are less than 1%. However, it does plan to turn some of the more vital satellites so they will be less exposed. And NASA even scheduled John Glenn's historic shuttle mission around the storm. It was vital Discovery be safely on the ground when Leonid hit. Well, there's two things that we're really concerned about. One is uh, mechanical damage to the spacecraft, and that would result if uh, you had any particles hitting the spacecraft itself. And the second thing we're uh, concerned about is electrical damage. Unfortunately for us, the storm will occur at about 2 p.m., which means the view won't be good in the U.S. But in Japan and China, the show should be spectacular. People who have been under a meteor storm say it's just incredible. In a typical shower, you see about one meteor a minute. With the Leonid meteor storm, you might see a thousand meteors a minute. That's huge. It's like a rainstorm, in a sense, or a snowstorm worth of meteors. They'll seem to be radiating or raining down on you when actually they're burning up high in the atmosphere. And that's the drama of it. It's just like driving into snow. Cecilia Sinclair, Fox 26 News.